today's vlog is going to be another really really fun one so i thought that today i'd do a little what items you'll need to own a pony slash horse and i thought this would be really helpful just in case any of you guys are thinking about getting a pony or anything i just thought this would be really really helpful so let's get on with the video so guys the first thing that you'll need of course is a head collar and lead rope so ruby and i have about six each and um you definitely need one of these and i'd recommend getting not only one but at least two just in case one snaps or something like that um so yeah you'll definitely need a head collar and lead rope and then i'd also recommend getting a lunge line just in case i don't know it's just really handy to have i sometimes lunge my ponies if i if it's a bit too hot or it's raining or something and i can't ride so i um give them a little lunge and it's just really really handy to have if a pony doesn't load or something this can really help and yeah it's just really handy and then you will also need a rug so this is rubies and um there is all sorts of different rugs this is actually lightweight so it's okay for when it's a bit chilly um, or something like that and you can just pop this on them and they'll be all right you can also get a fly rug for in the summer to obviously keep the flies off them but then there's also a heavyweight rug which you can get which is like the thickest rug that you can get it's really really thick and that's really really handy for the winter when it's absolutely freezing cold the next things that you'll need are mucking out tools so if you're having shavings in a stable or something, you'll need a shavings fork because this is a lot, lot easier. Well, it's very easy with a shavings fork. Then you will also need a sweeping brush to keep everything nice and tidy, even for just on the yard. A sweeping brush is really handy. Then you'll need, if your pony is going into the field, I'd recommend getting like a rag watering um, fork. So, this can be really handy if you have any weeds or ragwort in your field. You can just go in, push it into the ground and pull it out and it's just really, really easy to have. Um, then you will also need, if you're having straw, I'd recommend just getting like one of these forks because it's a lot easier than um, a shavings fork because the straw gets a lot more heavier than the shavings. And um, these can snap because they're only plastic. So if you're having straw, I'd definitely recommend one of these. And then you'll also need a poo picker. So this isn't actually this isn't actually a poo picking fork. It's actually a kid's gardening rake, but they're actually really, really good to have as poo pickers. And then you'll of course need a wheelbarrow. It don't matter which wheelbarrow it is, we have this plastic one. I mostly use this for um, my stables and then we have some metal ones for poo picking because these aren't very good for keeping poo in, they go a bit flimsy. Um, but yeah, so that's all you're looking at tools. So you'll of course need a stable or a field shelter. So come in. Like I said, you need a stable or a field shelter. You'll need shavings or straw. You'll need a hay net and some hay or hay litch. Um, and then a water bucket and feed bucket. My feed bucket looks a bit dirty because Anne has just had a feed in it and we give them pink mash so it gets a bit dirty. Um, but yeah, like I said, hay net, feed bucket, shavings or straw and a feed bucket. Your ponies might, or ponies or horse might not be having feed or supplements but I'd always recommend having a feed bucket and feed or supplements on hand just in case you get a new horse or something that will need them and yeah yeah so that's the stable so guys the next thing that you'll need is a broom box and some brushes so mine is actually a beauty case um but somebody recommended this to me and it doesn't have to be this big it's actually really handy for me because i have quite a few brushes and as you can see i um got imogen grace event in got a sticker put onto it but the first the first thing that I wanted to say was I really recommend getting some fly spray because I put fly spray on my ponies all year round because there is always, always flies or something around that just likes to land on them. Um, so yeah, I really recommend getting some fly spray. And then in my grooming box, I firstly have <laughs> some face brushes a hoof picker, a jelly scrubber, so these aren't actually meant for horses, 
but I really recommend getting one because they're really good like especially for when you're washing them or something and I just have a cloth a mane and tail comb um, one of these which you might have seen on my um, pony camp video so this is really good for ruby saddle because ruby saddle is suede and what you do is you peel that off and then it's all sticky if there's any hairs or anything on it you just roll it across and it gets it all off and then I have my occlusive um, curry comb and one of my hoof oil brushes so yeah that's in the top compartment of my um, grooming box because of having hoof oil on if you don't put hoof oil on your pony's hooves can crack and get really really dry and that's not very good um, so definitely get some hoof oil um, but that is everything that you'll need for pretty much like sprays and bushes so yeah then if you want to ride it's really important to have a, um, a saddle and a bridle and um, so it doesn't matter what kind of saddle you have just make sure that you get it professionally fitted by a saddle fitter because if you don't it could cause injury to your pony's back and it could then like lead to a very very big injury and um, so this is Ruby's and you'll need stirrup irons, stirrup leathers, a girth and a saddle pad so I've got a half pad on just because it makes it a bit more comfy for them you don't always need a half pad and like I said, a saddle pad. Mine looks a bit dirty because I've only just ridden Ruby. Um, but yeah, that's Ruby's saddle. And then you'll also need a bridle. So this is Ruby's bridle. Again, make sure that it fits your pony's um, fits your pony properly. And then to go with your bridle, you'll need reins and um, a bit. That make sure that the bit fits in their mouth too. So that's the tack. <laughs> and before you ever get a horse or a pony you need to make sure that you have a field because a field to a pony slash a horse is kind of like their chill out zone it's a time for them to just relax and stretch their legs and if you have any other ponies or horses they can have a play around with them and like I said this is the most important thing that you'll need to own a pony or a horse so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video guys I really really hope that this was very very helpful to you so yeah don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram I'm also Imogen Grace Events on those too subscribe turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my videos and please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it that's all for today guys 